and welcome back to Oku. My name's Thad Stuckey. I'm the executive chef here at Oku Sushi on King Street, downtown Charleston. I've got a dish I'd like to make for you guys today, something I love. It's a uh, tempura eggplant and shishito pepper dish with a spicy aioli. So let's get started real quick. These are Ichiban eggplant. You can see them in Asian markets. You can see them at the farmer's market this time of year, late summer. Um, they grow really well in South Carolina. So super simple for this dish. All I'm gonna do is take the ends off. And we're gonna fry these. If you don't have a fryer or don't wanna mess with the cast iron skillet or don't wanna do the actual fry work, you can also do the same cut I'm doing and just throw them in a pan at like 450 degrees and roast them off. It works just as well. But all we're gonna do now is like a real quick, just kind of a chip. And if they don't like eggplant, just don't tell them it's eggplant. So real simple, there we go. That's all the prep you need to do knife-wise for this dish. The next step that we're gonna have with this dish are frying these shishito peppers. If you've ever seen shishitos, they're wonderful peppers. Really, really nice. About one in 10 of them is spicy, but the rest are a really nice, mild pepper flavor. Hard to find in grocery stores though. So if you're looking for shishito peppers, I definitely recommend a trip to the farmer's market. And real quick, I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, simple dipping sauce for fried veggies or whatever you like. Um, it's a spicy mayonnaise, and it's based on two things, QP mayonnaise and sriracha. This is QP mayonnaise. If you can see it, you can only find this at the Asian stores here in town. It is amazing stuff. I would rather this than Duke's, I know my mom's gonna kill me, but Duke's or Hellman's mayonnaise any day of the week, I'd rather have QP. We get that guy out. And once you open it, you can keep this refrigerated. I'm not obviously not gonna use all this bottle here at the restaurant we would, but for these purposes today, if we're just doing a little bit of sauce from one recipe, um, I'm just gonna put about a cup in. I'm not gonna measure necessarily. I'm just gonna take a look. I think we're gonna need about that much. And sriracha. If you're not familiar with sriracha, you should be. Um, I know people that call this Asian ketchup. Um, simply because they put it on everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. And we're just gonna take a little bit of that, put it into our QP mayonnaise, and this is what's gonna make it the spicy part. And then just for a little bit of extra flavor, a little bit of sesame oil, just kind of give it a little bit of nuttiness in there. And then all you're gonna do is get a whisk, stir it together, and it makes it this nice pink color. And that's it, super easy, super simple, delicious spicy mayonnaise. So we went ahead and took our shishito peppers and our eggplant that we cut earlier, and I went back to our deep fryer here at Oku and in oil about 350 degrees, um, I tempura battered the eggplant. And as you can see, this is a real nice light tempura batter. If you can't see your vegetable through the batter, you've probably got too thick of a batter. Um, you can look online and find really, really simple tempura batter options, or you can go to your local grocery store and just buy a pre-made mix, which is just as easy. Um, the key is to make it really light. Add lots of water, don't make it too thick. You should be able to see the vegetables through the tempura batter. The shishitos we have here, didn't put anything on them. Just took them, put them straight in the fryer. They work great if you have a cast iron skillet, if you wanna deep fry the stuff in there, it's, that's a beautiful way to do it or even a tabletop deep fryer, 350 degrees. If you don't have a fryer and you still wanna do this stuff, you can take it at home, put it in an oven about 450 degrees, you want it really, really hot. These are really thin skin, so it doesn't take long. Probably only takes, I mean, in the fryer, a minute and a half, in the oven, probably 10 minutes tops. So we have our tempura fried eggplant and our flash fried shishito peppers, and now all we're gonna do is season them um, with some stuff. And literally, it could be as simple as salt and pepper. So I'm gonna take the peppers. So I'm gonna take all the peppers. Why not? I got people here I think might wanna eat them. And I'm gonna take all the eggplant, just get in a bowl. And just like you would if you were tossing french fries, you're just gonna move it around like that. Now, I've got salt that I'm gonna add. Be careful, you don't wanna add too much because you can always add salt, but you can't take it away. A little bit of salt. 
And then this right here is what is called sashimi togarashi, and it is a Japanese seven spice blend. Togarashi is a Japanese red pepper, and the sashimi togarashi has a bunch of other stuff in it. It's a Japanese seasoning blend. So a little bit spicy, but not too bad. And just really nice, good color too. That's the way it looks. So add a little bit of that. And last, katsuobushi. Katsuobushi is bonito flakes. It's dried skipjack tuna that they then ferment and shave. And you get these wonderful little flakes in there. So it has a little bit of a fish flavor to it. If that's not your thing, you can just leave it out. That's okay. But it really adds, if you've heard of umami, a lot of umami to this dish. Gives it a nice, deep flavor. It makes it really interesting. Really makes it different from anything you've ever had before. And then just toss it all together. I like to plate this dish. Super easy. We've already drained it, so there's not too much oil in there. Just pile that up like that. So we made this spicy aioli earlier with the QP mayonnaise, sriracha, and sesame. And I'm just going to add this to the dish. And there you have it. Tempura fried Ichiban eggplant, flash fried shishito peppers, spicy mayonnaise. Thanks for joining me. This is Thad Stuckey at Oku on King Street. And I look forward to seeing you.